Hi, it's Brandon Johnson, and I'm proud to take you on the water in your beautiful Chaparral Sinesta. Let's go for a ride. What it really means to live life golden. Right here. I left a plug for you in a Ziploc bag above the helm. Plug goes underneath the drive, right in this hole. Hand tight is good enough for your test drive. If you're going to leave in the water for a whole weekend or you know, the rest of its life, tighten it up with a wrench. Now let's go for a ride. Step number two after you get your plug in. Come back here in the walkthrough transom to your dual battery switch. So why do we have this? When we go boating, we turn this to all. The alternator is going to charge all the batteries. When we're done for the day, we shut it off. If we're going to cove out, you know, listen to the radio, have some fun, switch it to one or two. That way, if we go to start it, click, 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 dead battery, we've already got a fully charged battery isolated. So we're going boating, so let's turn it on. Okay, you back your boat in the water till the rear end floats. You can easily see it just boop, float. Then this boat's direct injected fuel injected, multi port injected, amazing. This. So to start it, you just turn the key. That was easy. Okay, three things that won't start. I've included a link in the description below the video to show you those things. So when you get it off the trailer, Push in to shift, it's backwards, turn the wheel, trim down a little, right here, like so. We'll get back to shifting after Billy over there on the dock makes an awesome spin of the boat. Now we're out here on the water so let's go through our systems we got a power seat button right here that folds down all the way flat I did that in the first video put it back together there showing you what that button does accessory God knows water pressures for the water pump right there the toilet has its own pump in the head we'll show you docking lights cockpit lights I turn that on just to show you on on sometimes there's more of them but you don't know till nighttime okay shut that off horn <laughs> that works bilge pumps automatic driving at nighttime that's stopped at night the white lights built in on top of the arch in the middles off all the way down driving at nighttime or all the way to the left driving at nighttime that's navigation can you see the red light on blower now this is multi-port injected so I didn't use it you should then you got power hatch Take a look at that beautiful engine there. Really. It's a nice day. It's the nicest day I've had in a while to make a video. There she is, 496 Mac, 375 horse, closed cooled motor, fire suppression system. Looks good, sounds good. 
We got it fully serviced, which is very smart. So we're setting ourselves up for success now. Before we deliver it, we're going to add gas to it because it's essentially empty. Let me lower that down the rest of the way. Now. Okay, so right here we got our depth monitor. This also shows you more than you'll ever want to know. Oh, that's for nighttime and daytime. Okay, now you can go down through here, check all your stuff. There's the hours, depth, tilt and trim. The button's on the shifter right here. See it going up, going down. Okay, speedo, we gotta go faster before we know this is a dimmer. Okay. Our trim tabs are right here, all right? So now my intention here is to show you full speed trim down, okay? And then I'll trim up and show you what the top speed will really do. It's very important that you know I've included a video in the description on how to operate tilt and trim. That's a very lengthy explanation, so adding a video that explains it in detail has been very beneficial very beneficial before I take off here let's go ahead and take a look at condition she's been detailed it is in beautiful shape the armrests flip up like this okay to flip them down you just pick up underneath now a little troubleshooting thing for the future not right now because I tighten them up underneath these sometimes this We'll pop off the bracket and there's just uh, two screws in there be put down okay look in here port side chair just take a nice slow look at everything bolster there we do have some bugs Changing weather brought the bugs out. A rear facing seat. Okay. Poor side captain's chair. Alright. I always shut the window before I take off. Just have it. And today to block the wind noise, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this. <coughs> In here is gonna be your filler cushions, your amps, your tables never been used. Those uh, two sticks right there, they go in to support the bow filler cushion up there in the track. That's for the table on the sides is where they go. So this is a CD player, there's no CD in it. Then you got remote controls here. Ah, hopefully that focuses in because it does work. All right, this video is getting long, so I'm gonna shut it off and start driving. Turning it back on. I'm doing these in HD, so I found that that uh, when you do them in HD, they take up a lot of storage. <laughs> so accelerate. But it's got a big motor. Puts it right on the plane. Now you can see our speed's increasing. And I'm going to talk loud and scoot up to the helm here. Full speed trim down. Good lord. Nice and comfortable. 
point something right, you know, pick something out right in front of you because you want to set them going in a straight line, okay? Then if you got more people sitting on one side of the boat than the other, you can level it out by going bow down. If it's rough as hell, put them both down. So whatever side of the boat you want to level, push it down. But I need to show you that they work. So I'm going to go a little faster. I'm going to let go the steering wheel. I'm going to do the port side down. I'm not touching the wheel. See how the boat just ridiculously turned? So I'm going to bring that back up all the way. The indicators do work, by the way, which is another rare thing. Very rarely do they work. They get a little moisture and give up. So now I'm going to go starboard side on the trim tabs, going straight. I'm picking something in front of me, not touching the steering wheel. Yep, see how much we're turning? Right there. Okay, so they come back up. Releases the boat. Let me show you this one again, because I didn't show you the indicators. See how those lights are going down? <laughs> Turned it all over the place. So that's how you work trim tabs. I know I'm bouncing around and it's probably hard to understand, but feel free to call me. I can walk you through that again on how to do it, because it's very easy. Okay, let's go put her back on the trailer. Okay, we're going to we're going to put it back on the trailer. One thing I wanted to mention because um, you've never had the Mag MPI motor that I'm aware of is the Mag MPI motor specifically has somewhat of a whistle sound from about 2,800 to 3,400 RPM. That's just the IAC. If you look it up, all MPI motors have that. So if you ever hear that, don't freak out. Um, now, what else was I going to say? Oh, docking it. This is going to be a lot easier to drive than a single prop. When I teach people how to drive, I tell them just not to touch the wheel and the shifter at the same time. Slow down to a crawl, maybe tap reverse. As you know, there's no brake in a boat, but reverse will stop your momentum. Once your momentum stops, just don't touch the wheel and the shifter at the same time. Billy's over there waiting on us. So I'm going to point the wheel towards him, engage it into gear, take it back out. So I'll just go in gear out of gear baby steps if you steer in gear you veer if you steer out of gear you're in the clear I'm gonna copyright that trademark thank you put it on the trailer so we put it on this trailer you picked out essentially and it's made for this boat and it's got guides so it's gonna be really hard to mess it up however people still struggle putting them on the trailer they get the trailer too deep in the darn water so you just want to be able to see the front guides <laughs> excuse me, out of the water, okay? Has tilt steering, by the way. Billy's gonna record me putting it on the trailer. Just remember what I said. You want more of the trailer out of the water than you would think, okay? Now, once you get it on the trailer, the trim gauge will actually quit showing anything, okay, when the key's off. Does that make sense? Key's off, trim gauge won't show. So I've had many people put their butt on the trailer, call me freaking out, won't trim up. I'll say, did you shut the butt off? Well, yeah, it's still trimming, just the gauge won't read. I hope that makes sense. So, you can do it right here, all the way out. You see how it's coming up? Once it's all the way up, it'll just kind of quit. Shut her off, then turn your battery switch off and take your plug out, all right? Billy's gonna pull me out of the water here and I'm gonna do a walk around video. Okay, I hope you liked the video we made for your Chaparral Sinesta. A few housekeeping things I want to share with you. I found that this part of the sail, so to speak, is what can limit your experience from good to uh, mediocre, um, which is transport. So when we transport this boat, I'm taking everything out.
Okay, the covers I'm going to roll up. I've already rolled them up and put them in the head. Okay, in the bathroom. I'm going to roll the carpet up too. Air gets underneath it, flaps it, and it frays at these snaps. Okay. Also, it could just blow the heck out, and we don't want that. So I'm going to roll the carpet up, and I'm going to put it underneath this seat. I'm going to take the top off, and I'm going to put it in the bathroom. All the canvas is going to be in the bathroom or the head. Uh, what else? The speaker covers. These look cool. Chaparral makes them. They don't stay on very good when you're traveling up and down the highway. So I'm going to take those off, and I'm going to put all those above the helm. That's what I just decided on the fly. I put a bag right here. It's got your plug, and then I found the cap that goes over that shower hose. The pins must be out, or, the, or that thing's broken. I don't have to order it from Chaparral, because we don't have the ability to order Chaparral parts, because we're not a dealer. So, in the head also, I have got the covers, the canvas, as I mentioned. There's a light in here. There's a light in here, and a light in here, and they both work. Um, for the toilet, there's a manual right inside the door in the bathroom. Um, but, so it's a vacuum flush pump out, so just real quick, basics, okay? It uses raw water from the water tank. The water tank fill is over here, okay? Um, you lift up on the handle with your foot to pressurize it, you push it down to flush it, okay? After you flush it, pick it back up so water gets up on top of the seal in the bowl, keeps the fumes down. Uh, after you use it, you hit this button. This is going to be loud. No, the battery's off. And what that does is it just flushes the waste down into the tank. Now, I don't know how it is where you go, but on our lake, anywhere you get gas, they'll pump your toilet out free. Otherwise, it's like six, eight bucks. So, the speakers. I rolled one up in the bow cover here. The other one is here. We talked about how you're going to put these in. One came loose in transport. So that's why I don't want to do that. We had new speakers put in here for you. Now, to put these in, they plug in back here. But first, just look, see the little Loctite bolts? So you're going to put a little wrench in here, and then a little... Uh, 7 16 thank you, William. Uh, ratchet up here. So as you, you'll take these off, put them in here, tighten these all up nice, and then once these are up here nice, this pushes in and twists, okay? push in, twist, it'll lock it right onto place. It'll also clip here. See the little clip? So that's how simple that is. Let me think of anything else. Oh, the canvas on the bimini. Let me put this up, Bill. On the bimini canvas. So what you do, there's a, a bead in here, okay? And it goes in this track. So the first thing you're going to do is run the bead in the track. Then zip it about halfway. Okay? i got to unzip it. i got to undo all this to make it easier. But do it. I'm talking about putting it on. Put the track in here. Zip it halfway. Bring it around here. These are just Velcro. Bring it around here. These ratchets come back. Yeah, bring it around here. Bring it around here. These tighten this all up. Okay? Here. This, I think, was supposed to go down and around and back up here to tighten this on. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay? Um, and then come back and zip it the rest of the way. And it should be pretty easy. So, there you have it. I hope you're happy with it. Um, can't think of anything else to say. We're going to go back, winterize it. Can you think of anything, Bill? Your light's built in, so that's not missing. There's plugs. Plugs poles for the covers. I went through and checked every snap on the cover. Maybe something to think about. Uh, they're, they're not missing. They're on them. In the future, it took me like a month to figure out what they're called. They're called stay put shock cords. That's what goes on the cover. It clips like this and it's got an elastic band. So maybe one of these days, order you have five or six of those just in case those go bad. They're not bad right now, but just giving you future reference. Um, before I ship it, I also tighten these seats up real good. Underneath, tell me when you're showing, Bill. This slides the seat forward and back. This tightens it up so that it doesn't swivel. So I always tighten them up before I ship them. Otherwise, these seats will rub up against here and essentially put like burn, rub, bad, ugly spots in it. So that's it now. And I appreciate the opportunity.
All right, we're back out of the water. Let's look at your exterior. So, drive looks a hell of a lot better. We painted painted it like I said and put the scag guard on. See, so you, you still got that old video to kind of use as a reference, but uh, it looks nice. So I'm kind of proud of that. So I'm especially proud. He reshot the sides and it looks incredible. Only thing I see in the white and it kind of blends in is like there's just some very minor kind of scuffs here in the white not the red there's one more little one right there see it's just actually that should wipe off that looks great so here's kind of a little chip a little rub but looking at the hull nothing at all bad there around to the starboard side there's that water fill I mentioned in a previous video I didn't show the hole did I maybe I did our other clips are uploading right now so that's gonna be kind of odd timing for this portion of the video but I had to come outside and do this I sure hope you're super pumped about this bad boy. Models popping bottles.